Hey yo, what is up guys? Full one tank or tank for sure. Hey man, we back in some more Blood Samurai too, you feel me? And you know they had to come out with a brand new update. You know I always got you guys with the locations and the showcases. So I figured why not hop in game and show y'all where it is. So first thing first, before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We about to hit 2k, we like 20 subs away. Thank you guys for all support on the recent Blood Samurai game videos. Y'all been loving them. Make sure to go check it out if you have it. But yeah, let's, you know, let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into these this location, right? All right, man. So first thing first, you want to make sure you spawn in the starter town and you get to any location on the map easy from starter town. You just want to head to the right of the spawn or just go straight across from the beginning armors and you just go straight up to this hill. Now, if you can't really find where you're going, I'll show you at the top of the mountain where I'm exactly at on the map. You'll be able to see like right here. All right, so that's where the spawn is. You just come directly from there. You jump down here into the willow tree and you'll see the guy right here. It's some guy talking about like his Mongolian family dying in a war or something like, not his Mongolian family, his family dying in a war against the Mongols, something like that. You just talk to him. It costs about 1,500, not bad at all. Honestly, you do a few assassinations with some friends get this like cake i got 1505 minutes and this is the armor i mean the stance looks so clean bro come on bro it's like it's like that final showdown stance that you see in movies where they just look at each other and it's like that one slash and then after that one slash someone just falls randomly and man animations are pretty clean it was also kind of broken because it doesn't take any stamina from the m1 so i'm gonna show you guys in a few duels, how it actually performs. So right here, I have a friend of mine. Some, well, not even a friend of mine, honestly. Just some random guy I found on the server. Because I decided, you know, let me just duel some random people on the server and see who could bring up the challenge. And, you know, just off jump, you know, I, I had my usual had my usual performance. You feel me? I'm just cut different. I'm cut from a different slice of bread. And, you know, I'm just boxing him up. But this stance is so broken because it doesn't take any stamina. So you can, like, dash way more often. You can just be a lot more agile and aggressive. And honestly, if I'm keeping it real, when you guys start the game, usually people go for, I believe this is called the um, elite armor or something like that. The red armor that's right next to it where we're fighting right now. But the scout armor that's right next to it, low key, y'all should go that. Because you get the extra HP and you don't even need the extra 10 stamina now if you get the stance with it. So, hey, I might switch to it. But Loki, I'll probably just stick to stealth armor just because I really like the like aesthetic to it. I like how it looks. Bam! That's the first door. Nice little light work on it. It's just it's really good. And I'm pretty sure there's a way where you could like get a double combo off. I got it a few couple times while fighting people. Now, I don't really know how to use it reliably or consistently, or maybe they just weren't M1 in between the double combo, so they didn't interrupt it. Maybe you can't interrupt it. But I'm definitely gonna do some more testing with the stance and see if it's possible to like hit double combos because if you can't hey <laughs> hey if you get a double combos on people i'm cheesing <laughs> i'm cheesing bro i'm going crazy but yeah man make sure to join the discord server description down below if you haven't already we have a lot of cool things in there like community events we have our own pokemon region going on so we have like custom g leaders there are people in the discord server we also have the champion which is me of course and eventually we'll have elite form stuff like that you can challenge them make your way up become a champion then you run the league kind of on the way right but that's another win. This is a new guy. He he wants to fight me again. I forgot what his like excuse was. I think he said he lied or something. I'm not sure. But we decided to run the game. I run to this guy right here. Some stranger just walks up to me and crouch. And we just have like a spiritual connection. We just start squatting <laughs> over and over again. We start teabag. It's like a spiritual connection. That shit was funny. But yeah, we back into it. So boom, boom. I just leave off straight with the aggression. Because y'all know I'm always on the offense. Now... I'm usually an offensive person, as you can see there. But, like, if you make a dash at me and you miss, I'm going to punish you. <laughs> it's not me playing passive. It's just that I'm going to punish you. You're not going to dash at me and miss your M1s. So I'm just going to sit there and let you get away with it. Like, right there. I'm not going to let you get away with that. You can't just dash at me and not be precise. But if someone like me, I could dash in. I could usually be pre pre precise and land most of my attacks. But, yeah, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. The duel's coming to the end. If you did, smash the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure to get your hands on the stance, man. This shit is crazy and definitely the best in the game right now. I'll see you guys later. Peace.